Okay. So for today, here are our objectives. First is to have a deeper understanding of what is being orderly. Second, to realize the importance of being orderly. Third, to create ways on how to be orderly. And lastly, to practice being orderly at all times. Okay? In all those objectives, I know na parang na-redundant kayo sa word na orderly. Teacher, ano ba yung orderly na yan? Later on, we'll find out what is that. But for now, I have this video that I would like to share with you. Okay? So sit back and relax as we watch this video about our topic for today. These days, Ronnie's bedroom is always tidy and clean. However, it was not so always. Ronnie and his family had shifted to a new house. Ronnie's bedroom was the best of all. The window gave a clear view of the road. His mum decorated it so beautifully with books and toys that it became an envy for all in the neighborhood. On his first day in the new bedroom, he played to his heart's content. When tired, he went to sleep, leaving the toys strewn all over. The next morning, when he woke up, he found his room all tidied and clean. Assuming that his mother would have cleaned up, he carried on with his day. After coming from school, he did the same. He played all he liked and then went to sleep without cleaning the room. The next morning, he was again shocked to see that the books and toys were back on the shelves. Assuming again that his mom must have done the cleaning, he went to school. The third day, as he was about to fall asleep, he felt someone trying to pull him off his bed. He tried to ignore, but could not. He got up to shrug it off and had the biggest shock ever. All the toys and books were pushing and pulling him out of the bed. He was shocked and soon found himself lying on the cold floor with toys running all over him. A stuffed rabbit came near him. Hey, Ronnie, how did that make you feel? What? Are you feeling the same way you make us feel? We just tried to give you the same treatment. What's happening? You step on us from every possible angle. Today, you'll get to know how it feels to stay out of place on a cold floor all night. You always leave us far from our proper place, where we can feel happy and comfortable. Do you know how hard it is for us to climb back to our shelves? Pens and pencils poked him all over. Now you'll realize how it feels to step on us and break our tips. Ronnie felt sad and scared. He could see and feel the rebellion of his toys and books. They were making him realize the ill treatment that he gave to them. He was also missing the comfort and convenience of his bed. He could now identify with the feelings that his toys and books were going through. Ronnie got up with a jerk. He was still on his bed, but just had a nightmare. 
he looked at his room and found his toys and books scattered all over the room. He rushed to put them at their proper place. When Mum came, she was happy to see the room clean. He thanked Mum for cleaning up his mess previously and promised to be a responsible kid in future. All right. So did you like the story? Okay. Meron ba sa'yo nakapanoodan ng Toy Story? Did you like that movie too? No, it's not just a movie. It's a series of movie. Okay? So parang ganun yung story dito sa pinanood natin about Ronnie, di ba? Meron ba sa'yo nakaka-relate kay Ronnie? Na laging nakakalat yung toys? Or meron ba kayo pakilala na parang si Ronnie na laging kinakalat yung toys? <laughs> I know somehow, you know, someone who is like that. Anyways, ayan. <laughs> uh, usually, mga bata daw, eh, hindi na naglalaro ng toys. They only play with gadgets. Wow. Okay, gone are those days na talagang makalat sobra yung mga heart ng mga bata. Kasi right now, basta may hawak na iPad or tablet, okay na. <laughs> Yung mga magulang tuwang-tuwa na makasimula sila pinilipit. But, syempre, mas enjoy pa rin yung magdaro ka ng mga ganitong classic toys. Anyways, regarding what we have watched, I have some questions to ask. Okay? First, how can you describe Ronnie? Uh, paano niyo i-describe si Ronnie? Sige, sign up. Ronnie is lazy. Okay, he's lazy. Why do you think he's lazy? Why do you think he's lazy? Tia? Because he didn't clean his toys. Okay, very good. He doesn't clean his toys. Now, hindi na nililinis yung palette niya. Aside from that, what else can you say about Ronnie? Anything else, Sophia? Ah, wala na. Okay. Yes, Catherine. Ron is irresponsible. Okay, he is ah. also irresponsible. Okay? Kasi, he does not fulfill his duty, which is to clean up his toys after three. Is there anything else? Ronnie is also messy, di ba? Because he just leaves his mess for someone to clean it, right? Okay, let's proceed with number two. What happens every time Ronnie would just leave things lying around after use? Ano nangyayari? Nakaharoon ba ng magic? May lamalabas ba ng pwede ka mother? <laughs> Look in. His mom cleans it up. Okay. It's his mom who cleans it up. Okay? So, sa isip lang ni Ronnie yun, na parang magic, na talagang bumabalik, yung mga lamang sa dati. But the truth is, his mother cleans it up. Okay? Number three. As a child, what good attitude should you practice after using your things? Anong dapat mong gawin kapag gumamit ka na isang baga? Okay? Sige, okay, Sophia. We clean it up after we use it. Okay, very good. Anything else? Oh, sige, look clean. I'll put it to the place where I get it. Okay, very good. Kung saan mo kinuha, doon mo rin dapat ibalik. Okay? Lahat mo tayo nagagawa yun. Do we put things in their proper places after using them? Wow, if it's a yes, then very good. Okay? We should keep doing that. Okay? So for today, the title of our lesson is I am orderly. Obvious ba? <laughs> okay. 
When you say order, what does it mean? Hindi yung order na ginagawa natin sa restaurant, ha? Please, pa-order ko ng rice, ng chicken, ng barbecue, ng french fries, kung ano-ano pang gusto nyo order rin. <laughs> what do we mean by order? According to what you can see in the picture. Yes, see it. Okay, very good. It's about cleaning or tidying things. Okay, anything else? When you hear the word order, what comes to their mind? Okay, sige, sign up. To stop being lazy. Okay, okay. It's the counterpart of being lazy. Very good. Tia? You are organized. Okay, it's about being organized. Very good. RJ? Proper. Okay, it's about being proper. All right, thank you for your wonderful answers. Okay, all the answers that you have mentioned are right. But right now, tingnan natin, ano bang definition ng orderliness? Right? So the root word there is order, which we have defined a while ago. Ano naman, teacher, your orderliness? Kindly read what's orderliness? One. Orderliness is a quality of being well arranged or organized. Okay. It's the quality of being well arranged or organized. Okay? So, di ba, mas masarap makita yung mga bagay na nakakayos kaysa yung mga bagay na magulo at nakala. So, Yun yung ibig sabihin ito ang orderliness, okay? Sabi dito, it's having this quality will help you become organized and meet in your team. So aside from being organized, aside sa pagkakaayos-ayos ng mga bagay, it is also about cleaning your things. You clean your things. Yung kama nyo, bago kayo matulog, pinapagpag nyo ba? Kasi little do you know, yung mga kama natin, no? kapag umihiga tayo dyan, natutulog tayo dyan, no? yung mga bacteria sa katawan natin, madalas, naiiwan dyan. So every time we would go back to sleep, we would go back to bed, kailangan pinapagpag natin yan. Para yung mga bacteria na natanggal sa katawan natin, the last time we slept, mawawala. Okay? And aside from that, may mga... Um, what do you call this? Alika Bukden na napupunta dyan during those times na hindi tayo natutulog dyan. So we need to shake it up para hindi natin malaghap yung mga alika Buk na yun at hindi tayo magkasakit. Okay? So, in short, being orderly helps you to become healthy. Remember that. Okay? Aside from that, orderliness is about putting things in order. Yeah. When orderliness is already part of you, it will be easier for you to study or work on something like your projects because being orderly means that you are able to keep your place a comfortable area. Diba? Mas masarap mag-aral kapag malinis yung ating nakikita. Okay? Imagine nyo yung sarili nyo, no? Nag-aaral sa tabi ng basurahan. Makapag-aral ba kayo ng maayos? Will you be able to study well? Kapag nag-aaral kayo, katabi nyo, basurahan, mabako, makala, hindi. So, in keeping our place organized and clean, tinutulungan din natin yung sarili natin na mas makapag-focus sa kung ano yung ginagawa natin. Do you understand? Alright. So what do you think will happen if you know how to keep your things orderly? O ano mangyayari kapag inayos mo yung mga bagay-bagay sa paligid mo at naging orderly ka ng tao? Sige nga, Sachi. It will not be messy. Okay, you will not be messy aside from that. What are the things that could happen, that could possibly happen kapag nakaayos yung mga gamit mo? Shania? 
Shania? You can find your things easily. Very good. You can find your things easily. Kasi alam mo kung saan mo nilagay. Alam mo kung saan mahahanapin. What else, Tia? Everything is nice to look at. Very good. Everything will be nice to look at. Di ba? Ang ganda tingnan na mga bagay ng nakasalansa ng matayos at nakalikpit. What else, Saina? Your parents will be happy that you cleaned up. Oh, and syempre, no, nakaka-proud para sa isang magulang. Ngayong anak mo ay marunong maglikpit ng sarili niyang gamit. Have you ever felt that? That your parents became so happy because they saw you cleaning your things. Nangyari na ba yun? Oo, hindi pa. Strive to do that. If you want to make your parents proud, if you want to make your parents happy, then clean up your own things. Okay? Clear? O, ito naman. Let's reverse the question. What do you think will happen if your things are scattered on the floor? Ano mangyayari naman kapag nakakalat masyado yung gamit mo? Yes, Brooklyn. We will step on it and we will get hurt. Okay, masasaktan ka. Aside from that, Adrian. Ay, same answer. Okay, Sachi. Our parents will be mad. Okay, magagalit si mami. Kasi nga, pangit at masakit sa mata na nakakalat yung mga gamit. What else? What else, Georgia? It will be messy to walk on. O, oh, di ba? Magiging makalat na sana yung place ninyo. Okay? Okay. Kapag may mga visitors din sa bahay, mag-disappoint sa sabi, ay, mga tamat siguro yung nakatira dito. Kasi ang kahalat ng mga gamit eh. Hindi sila marunong maglipit. Ay, ang bawa ng bahay. Siguro basurero yung nakatira dito. Gusto niyo ba sabi ako kaya ang gano'n? Hindi. Di ba? Uh, sige, what else, Jace? What could happen kapag nakaskatter yung mga gamit sa floor? We can break something. Okay, di ba? That could also happen. What else, Sophia? You, it's not, it's not nice to look. It's not okay. nice to look at. That's right, di ba? And kapag may mga gamit kayo, na kailangan nyo mahirap pa kayong hanapin kasi nga, pakalat-kalat lang yung gamit nyo. Sabi nyo dito, it is very important to be orderly in order to avoid unnecessary accidents caused by scattered things. Just like yung pagkadulas, no? Bawa yung mga nakakalat na gamit, mga road blocks, di ba? Mga blocks, blocks. So, minsan kapag natapakan yan, it's either bumahon yan sa paano, o kaya, madulas yung makatapak yan. Gusto niyo bang mangyari yun? Sa mga tao sa paligid nyo. Hindi, di ba? So, being organized with your things is also keeping your place safe. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo na maging safe yung mga tao sa paligid nyo, especially if you have little siblings, kapag may mas malilit pa kayong kapatid, then keep them away from messy surroundings. Okay? para mas maging safe sila kapag nag-iaral sila. Alright? You need to be organized at all times and start with the basics at home. Siyempre, saan pa ba natin sisimulan yung pagiging malinis? Diba? Sa sarili-sarili din natin mga bahay. So the question is, how can we start being orderly at home? Okay? So I have here some things na pwede niyong gawin in order to keep yourself organized, neat, and orderly at home. Okay, first is to arrange clothes in the cabinet. Heart reaction yung mga nag arrange at tumutulong sa parents nila na mag-arrange ng clothes sa cabinet. Yan nga. Ah, very good. Madami, be honest, ha? 
Kung hindi nyo pa nagagawa yan, it's okay. Walang problema doon. Okay? So at least, almost more than half ng tumatulang na magtupi ng kanilang mga damit. Okay? That's a very important skill, ha? Especially if you want to be an organized person, dapat marunong ka mag-tiklop ng sarili mong damit. Next is putting things in their respective places. Thumbs up yung mga ginagawa ito. Yung mga binabalik yung mga gamit nila sa kung saan nila ito kinuha. Ba, mas madami. Almost everyone. Very good. Alright. Next one. Arranging books on the bookshelf. Meron ba kayong mga bookshelf? A heart reaction, yung mga nag arrange ng mga books nila sa bookshelf. Wow, ang dami mo yung mga bookshelves. Eh, binabasa nyo ba yung mga books na nandun? Baka naman ina-arrange nyo, tapos din nyo naman binabasa. <laughs> arrange lang. <laughs> Kalpak-salpak lang. <laughs> Next, placing shoes on the shoe rack. Uh, meron ba kayong shoe rack? O kung wala shoe rack, Um, kahit inaalis lang yung mga kinelas, yung mga sapatos, o kung saan nakalagay. Okay. Thumbs up reaction. Very good. Alright. Oh, yes, Shania. Teacher, we have a shelf full of shoes. Uh, our first shelf, we put shoes that we don't use yet. And the other shelf is for shoes that we use. Ah, okay. Um... When you say shelf, it's for the books, okay? While when you say shoe rack, it's for the shoes and slippers, okay? So, magkaiba yan, okay? So, bookshelf and shoe rack. Yes, Sophia? Teacher, we have a non-shoe rack, but it's already full, filled with shoes. Ah, okay. So, para naging stock room na lang yung ano yung shoe rack. Yung mga hindi ginagamit, yung nakalagay. It's okay, okay? Pero the tendency is, halimbawa, um, may shura kayo tapos ganito na naka-open, di ba? May shura usually. So, ang tendency niya is napupuno siya ng alikabo. So, from time to time, you need to also brush those shoes that are on the shura na matagal nang hindi ginagamit, okay? Para matanggal yung mga dirt o yung mga alikabo, okay? Next one. Sort other small steps like your pen, your notebook, and other things. Hey, kayo gumagamit kayo ng small steps like pen and notebook and books. Of course, kapag nagkaklase tayo, right? Ang tanong, kayo ba yung naglilipit na mga gamit ninyo mga aral pagkatapos ng classes? Heart reaction ko, oo. Oh, oh. Ah, very good. good. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Maliliit na bagay na lang yan, ha? Hindi kayo magbubuhat na mabigat yan. Hindi naman siguro kasi bigat ng barbell yung pencil niya para hindi nyo maligpit pagkatapos na kanyo. So you should do your part. Clean up your mess after using it. Alright? And lastly, clean. Ah, yes, siya na yan. Teacher, when I was done with my workbooks and books, uh, I placed them back in the container where I placed all my school stuff. Okay, that's good. That's nice. You should keep doing that. Okay? And lastly, clean cabinets and shoe racks and shelves. This is what I'm seeing a while ago. Okay? So that bad from time to time, kahit once or twice a week, pupunasan natin yan ng tuyong basahan. Okay? So you should have Um, a towel, a tissue, or something that will uh, help you clean up uh, the germs, <laughs> the bacteria in those things na nasa cabinet, nasa shoe rack, at nasa shelves. Okay? Alright. Meron ba sa inyo na nagpupunas ng mga gamit nila pagkatapos ganit eh? Thumbs up po meron. Alam ko, konti lang to. <laughs> okay, kasi young as you are. Ay, madami din. Talaga ba? Kalimbawa, yung TV or yung computer natin. Kasi madalas yan. Kapag ginawa ka mo, kapag tinatch mo lang siya ng ganyan, 
So, mapapansin mo yung daliri mo, ay, nagpunay black. Ibig sabihin nun, punag-punay na siya ng alikabok. So, mamaya, uh, this is your task, if you would like to do this. Mamaya, you roam around your house, and then you touch, um, halimbawa, yung mga tables, yung mga chairs, ano lang, parang you just use your pointing finger, and then touch it, and then look at your finger. Kapag nakita niyo yung finger niya na ma-itchel, tayo sa alikabo, you get a piece of tissue o kaya ng um, rag, and then you clean it. Okay? Punasan mo kung ano man yung hinawakan mo na may alikabo. Okay? Kaya bang gawin yun? Okay. So this is what we call the New Year's Challenge. <laughs> New Year, dapat malinis ang house natin. Okay? Alright. So, being orderly and organized with your things shows that you are a responsible child. Okay? Kaya ang sabi nga din ng classmates yun, when you are orderly, you are also responsible because it only means that you are keeping your family safe and secure because you are doing your duty as a family member. Eight. So always remember that a child who practices orderliness gives his or her things organized and neat. Next, being orderly helps in keeping one's place safe and allows others to use things when they need them. And lastly, when you are organized, you enjoy a hassle-free life and a more comfortable environment. Do you all want to have that? hassle-free life and comfortable environment? If your answer is yes, then let's all strive to practice orderliness in our lives. Okay? So to end this, I want to leave to you a quotation from Denise Ispaku. She said, being organized will give you more free time contribute to a more cheerful nature and add to the peace and security of your world. Kaya it's all win-win kapag pinili natin na maging malinis at maayos sa ating mga gamitan sa paligid natin. Okay? Did you learn something from today's lesson? I really hope so. At sana yung mga tutunan natin dito may apply natin sa buhay natin. Alright? Sige. So for your activity for this day, ayan. So this is what you're going to do in your notebook. So you will do an organized schedule. Okay? So this is just a one-day schedule. Okay? So for example, make it a weekend schedule. Schedule nyo na sa day. Okay? So this is what you're going to do. Take organize one day schedule of your study habits. For example, 6 a.m. breakfast, 6.30 a.m. fixing up things for school, 6 p.m. dinner, 6.30 p.m. making up assignments. Pero hindi kayo tapawid ng ganun sa ano ha, galayo ha. So make it specific as much as possible. So pwede nga ano eh, kahit yung food nyo ng lunch, ng breakfast, ng dinner, ilagay nyo yun dyan. Okay? Maraming question ha, sige. Yes, Kian. Kian, I did on the, you know, like chart. Um. Okay. If you would like to, by the number. Yes, Lucleen. Where are we gonna write it? Pwede po sa notebook. Pero kung hindi kasi sa notebook, pwede sa bond paper. Shania? Teacher, can it, can it be big? Um, pwede naman big. Okay? Pero yun nga, if you have printed this and kasha naman siya dito, pwede nga nila siya gawin. Isulat. Okay? Um, Rob, uh, nasa ano naman to? Creeper. So if you want to print this, you can just um get it there. Okay? Okay, see ya.
You should also answer this check, please, in order to check if you are organized or not yet. Okay? Clear po bang ang activity natin for this day? Yes, Kian? Teacher, what is on the second one? Because it says, I place my nooks perfect. Properly on the bookshelf. Second one. I place my books. That's books. Okay, sorry for the typographical error. Thank you for reminding me that. Yes, Ian. Ian. Okay, you may. Okay, are there any more questions? Clarifications? Violent reactions about the discussions. None. If there's none, I'd like to leave you with a quotation from Rahendra Mukhe. Orderliness, orderliness is a gateway to peace. So if you want to live a peaceful life and a happy life, then start being orderly. That is all for now. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening and actively participating. Goodbye and thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.